Hello, my name is Steve Dillard, Law Enforcement Liaison for the Governor's Highway Safety Office. Analysis show that adopting GDL laws can lead to substantial decreases in crashes for drivers 16 and 17 years old. Our state has a strong graduated driver's license program, but it is only effective if we are out there enforcing it. This roll call video will walk you through the three steps of the graduated driver licensing program in Tennessee and the restrictions set on teen drivers. Step one, the learner permit. They can only drive a car only when accompanied by a licensed driver 21 years or older who is riding in the front seat of the vehicle. They cannot drive between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. No exceptions. They cannot use a cell phone except to communicate with their custodial parents. Outside of that, no phone calls, no texting, nothing. They fall under the same seatbelt restrictions as everyone else. Everyone in the front buckled up. Everyone under 18 in the back buckled up. Here is what a permit or PD license looks like. So what happens if they are caught violating these restrictions? On top of a regular ticket you will give them, they may have to stay at this stage for an additional six months or until they turn 18, depending on the violation. Step two, intermediate restricted. They can only have one passenger in the vehicle unless they are accompanied by a licensed driver 21 years or older, all the passengers are their siblings, and they are traveling to or from school. They cannot drive between the hours of 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. unless they are accompanied by their guardian or parent. They are accompanied by a licensed driver 21 years or older. Driving to or from scheduled specifically identified school sponsored activities and events. Driving to or from full or part-time employment. Driving to or from hunting or fishing between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. and in possession of a valid hunting or fishing license. No phone use. Everyone is to be buckled up. These require a note from their parent or guardian specifically identifying the person or persons, event, or workplace. If this is forged by the driver, they will drop back to the learner permit level until they turn 18. Here is what an intermediate restricted or an IR license looks like. So what happens if they are caught violating these restrictions? They may have to stay at this stage for an additional three months, complete a driver's education course, or drop back to the learner permit stage depending on the violation. Step three, the intermediate unrestricted. There are no restrictions on passengers or time. No phone use. Everyone in the car is buckled up. Traffic violations that occur while a teen holds this license will come under the same penalty as a regular driver. Here is what an intermediate, unrestricted, or IU license looks like. After that, our teen drivers join the regular Class D license category. Why are we concerned with enforcing these restrictions on our teens? As a group, teenage drivers have a higher crash risk than any other age group, and 16-year-old drivers, not surprisingly, have the highest risk of all. 
Among these youngest and least experienced drivers, the leading cause of fatal crashes is driver error, 77%, followed by speeding, 38%, and alcohol, less than 25%. And when other teenagers are in the car, crashes are more likely to be fatal. Based on the NHTSA estimates, we believe that 16 and 17 year olds alone account for about 14 billion of the total economic cost of vehicle crashes. So we in law enforcement, we have a responsibility to take care of our roads, but we also want to save lives of our drivers as well. So all the training that you can get and understanding of our GDO law will definitely be an asset to every driver that drives the highways in the state of Tennessee.